The five love languages are words of affirmation, meaning verbal compliments or words of appreciation, mm -hmm. right? Quality time, which means giving someone your undivided attention. Right. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to do something. Right. Right? Receiving gifts. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like receiving gifts. That speaks for itself. Acts of service, what is that? It's doing something for the other person that you know they would like for you to do. Like mopping the floor. Yes, mopping yes. the floor. Okay, and physical touch. Now, a lot of guys, I'm sure, initially would say physical mm -hmm. touch because mm -hmm. they think that's sex, but that's no. not what we're talking about necessarily. No. As a matter of fact, you're exactly right. A lot of the men would say to me, oh, I know my language, even before they read the book. Yes. They just see the five. Oh, yeah. it's physical touch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I say, well, maybe, but let me ask you a couple of questions. Do non-sexual touches make you feel loved? And they look at me like a deer in the headlights. Yeah. Are there non-sexual touches? And I, yes. <laughs> if your wife reaches over and takes your hand, yes. does that make you feel loved? If you get out of the car walking into the mall and she holds your hand, does it make you feel loved? If she's pouring you a cup of coffee and puts her hand on your shoulder, does that make you feel loved? Mm -hmm. Do non-sexual touches make you feel loved? If not, then physical touch is not your primary language. Okay, so before the break, I found out my love language is words of affirmation. So tell us more about that one. That seems real easy. All you gotta, that's why I think it doesn't take a whole lot. Well, it's easy I'm for some people. I'm low maintenance, I'm low maintenance, I it, do believe it. It's easy it. for some people, <laughs> but it's difficult for others. If you grew up in a home where, people where you seldom heard positive words. Right, right. Now you get to be an adult. Mm -hmm and you find out that your spouse or, or a friend of yours, words is their, lang their primary language, it'll be difficult. You, it's a learning curve. Yes. And what I suggest to people is that you get a notebook, you write down things you hear other people say, or things you read in a magazine. Stand in front of the mirror, read them out loud until you hear yourself saying these things. Then walk in the room where they are and say one of them and run. <laughs> <laughs> broken the silence. <laughs>